What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Fro. You already know. Coming live from the 304. First base commentator on YouTube. And I thought I'd switch it up a little bit, bring back the whole Throwback Thursday gameplays. Um, playing NBA Live 2010 right now. This is game, like, it's pretty damn old. I know um, this was the last NBA Live that came out. NBA Live was my game ever since, like, 05 when that the one with Melo came out. Get that shit out of here, boy. Anyway, though, um, I'm pulling. Ah, uh, I blew it. Could not knock down the Sherman. But um, NBA Live, it was a dope game for the most part. It had its flaws, but what game doesn't? A couple of the flaws, if you can see right now, there's like an invisible wall with whoever has the ball. And it's so hard to guard people in this game. You could hold RB. Get that shit out of here, boy. DeAndre don't play that shit. I'm going to hit CP3 for the trailing Sherman from deep. Ah, uh, blew it. But anyway, though, you cannot play D. Like, you can hold RB and play D, but that was so cheesy, and people would do it online. I had really hated that. It made the game so sim-like. There's the invisible wall again. There was, like, an invisible wall with whoever had the ball, and ill. There was another one with uh, the out-of-bounds uh, line, so you could always force people out of bounds. Like, watch this, if I can get him. Uh, he didn't go up there far enough. But anyway, you could like basically force people out of bounds. This game was so cheesy and so arcade like, especially compared to 2K10, which was a lot more realistic and uh, sim. You guys know I like the sim gameplays. I don't really like this whole arcade stuff. I mean, it's fun for the most part. The funnest thing about this game is if you think about like uh, 2K's blacktop mode, this game had like Adidas Live Run. It's like five on five gameplays where you just uh, pick up ball and one. I knew that was coming. Tayshaun ain't even that strong to be bullying Blake like that. But you can play pickup ball 5-on-5 five five with, instead of created players, you used uh, actual NBA stars. And it was just like a pool of stars. Like it's kind of like the free agency, but it's everybody in the league. You just picked up whoever you wanted. But the main thing about NBA Live, ooh, nice take from CP3 right there. I blew it, though. Um, The main thing about this is like, with the whole ratings thing, I know 2K, I think they do their ratings like maybe once a week or two weeks, something like that. I'm not sure. NBA Live will update ratings on a nightly basis. Like, say CP3 uh, played last night and he just had like a just a beast game where he went like six for seven from deep or something like that. His three-point rating would skyrocket the next day on this game and everybody online would use him. Because he wouldn't miss threes because, you know, he went six for seven last night. So... One of the, the worst guys to play against online is when people pick Cleveland. Mo Williams, I guess he just had an amazing season that year with LeBron in Cleveland because he would knock down Sherman's like it was no tomorrow. Like He knocked down the Sherman like his life was on the line if he didn't make that shot, and he was just knocking them down back to back to back just constantly, and everybody wanted to use Mo Williams, whether it be in a, a, a team match online or straight up Adidas Live run. Like You could have... Um, just say CP3 or Tony Parker and, um, just one of the elite point guards nothing against Mo Williams but it wouldn't matter who the other point guard was on the other team somebody would go get Mo Williams just for the simple fact that you basically could not stop um, him from scoring they just run around the three point line setting screens for each other out of bounds setting screens for each other just to get this man an open shot and he would knock him down so that was one of the flaws about this game i mean it was a good idea to update the ratings from like every night based on what happened last night and everything nice backdoor cut oh, i couldn't finish with karan that was a nice little play though um another good thing well yeah that was basically a flaw but a uh, good thing about this game was, like, the audio and the presentation. They had the whole atmosphere of things with the playoffs and regular season games and uh, specific sounds. I know I've been talking about CP3 a lot, but another example is, like, if you played in New Orleans with Chris Paul, the announcer, he would do that whole Ric Flair thing with the CP3. Woo! Woo! You know? Pause. But um, that was dope. If you – uh. If you had an away game with, uh, I don't know where he was at this time, maybe with the Magic or something like that, but if you had Chris, uh, not Chris, I don't know why I got this full on my mind so much, pause, but um, I know I'm cheesing a little bit right now, just pulling that. If you play with Vince Carter up in Toronto, they would boo the hell out of that man. I don't know the whole story behind that. I guess they just can't stand his ass up there. He probably slayed the team or whatever when he left them. Uh, 
But they would boo the hell out of that man when you uh whenever he played up in um Toronto. It was crazy. Oh, uh, what else do I like about this game? You could layer accessories. That was a big thing for me. I was real anal about visuals back in the day. I mean, I still am, just not as much. But uh, it used to bug the hell out of me. Like, 2K10, I could not fix KD's accessories because at this time, he was wearing, like, those leg sleeves, and he would always bring his socks up to meet the leg sleeves on his legs. I know it sounds stupid as hell, but I was real anal about that stuff, like the whole visual aspect of the games. I'm banging this one. Oh, you got to dunk that, man. But on here, you can actually do that. On uh, on 2K10, it wouldn't allow you to layer accessories on your legs or your arms like that. Like, yeah, I think it, I don't remember, man. It's been a while. You know, you guys know when 2K10 was out. But you couldn't even wear, like, a, a arm sleeve and get the rubber bands on your wrist at the same time. Like, it was so annoying. All that little stuff like that would just annoy the hell out of me. But NBA Live, man, I'm hoping it makes a comeback because I know I've been shooting a lot of Shermans, man. I ain't knocking down any of them either. But this is basically just a game to get a little stuff off my chest. I'm hoping NBA Live 14 makes a comeback. I know they they, they sucker me in every year saying, oh, we're bringing back NBA Live. Uh, you guys be ready. Got a whole lot of stuff we've been working. We've been working, blah, blah, blah. And then they end up canceling the game a couple weeks before release. And I always get my hopes up. I'm hoping they can make a splash on the next-gen systems. Maybe not even put NBA Live 14 out on the current gen, on the 360 and the PS3, and just put it out on PS4 and whatever Xbox decides to call their system. And I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping they can just like make a big splash with that. I don't know if they've had time to like develop their game with the new system or whatever. Because I know usually when games come out, like... You get a, you get a, what's it called? A, um, a, uh, oh, I, I forget the name of it, but like a, a CG rendered trailer, I guess you can call it that. I don't know if that's the correct term, but it's like a, a computer trailer, which the game won't look anything like that, but it always gets you hyped up for the game that's coming out. They may put one of those out for NBA Live 14, I don't know. But I'm just hoping, like, they do something dope for NBA Live 14 on the new consoles because it's been, what, four or five years without an NBA Live uh, title on the market. And competition is great. Like, a little competition ain't never hurt nobody. So I, it's definitely time to bring back the whole NBA Live series, the franchise. And it, it'll be real dope. Like, I know I purchased it. I was going to purchase the NBA Elite, honestly. Um just for a simple fact that I'm an NBA Live guy, I always liked it. See if I can get it. Oop. Uh, that was another terrible thing about this game. Look how slow he fell. Like, the alley oops were in slow motion for some reason. And you couldn't even get back on D. Like, if you missed the oop, everybody else running full speed. But, oh, I tried to toss that, man. I tried to send that to the third row. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Hopefully, you guys tune in watch the game tonight. Uh, Clippers and... um. Grizzlies, it should be a good game. Like, that's turning into a little rivalry game, honestly. I like it, uh, Pulse. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to get on out of here. I got some news for the uh, 2K fans. I don't know what's going on with the replay right here. Shame on EA Sports. <laughs> but but uh, I'm going to try to get a 2K video up late tonight, probably around midnight. But until then, uh, I'm out. Stay based.